Alright, welcome back to Magic the Gathering. Today, we're going to do a little bit of deck testing. Um, I have I have this idea in mind of this mill deck that I really wanted to do, and I figured I could make a video on it, and I could just show you. <laughs> I want this entire deck to be around Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Tasha's Hideous Laughter is a really good card, in my opinion. Each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until that player has exiled cards with total mana value 20 or more. So I feel like this could hit a lot of cards, and I could feel I feel like it could mill out people very, very quickly. So this is the deck I put together to try and test this theory. We're not going to play in the ranked queue, okay? Because I don't want to lose my current rank of Platinum 1. I know, I'm pretty good. I just don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good. And hopefully, I get to cast this card a few times. Because casting this card is very fun, actually. Like, you play the card, and you don't know whether you're going to hit 2 cards or 20 cards. It doesn't do that well against green decks, because green decks tend to have, like, giant, giant spells in their deck. Um... Man, I really shouldn't keep this. But if I get one land, I think I'm okay, so I'm gonna keep it. That was a really dumb idea, I shouldn't have done that. He's playing Yorian. Alright, well this is the perfect time to test it. <laughs> Can I mill 73 cards out of my opponent's deck? I don't have that many Mythic Rare or Rare Wild cards left. Like, I don't really know what to spend it on for this deck. But I know. I know it can do well. It just needs the right conditions, and it's going to be perfect. Cool. Plus, I got a Fable Passage. Very good. Alright, 70 cards to go. The best thing about this card is they exile the cards. Like, they don't go to the graveyard. They're gone. So even if the opponent, like, shuffles in their graveyard back to their library, they still got... X amount of cards in exile. Well, that's just rude. Alright, let's play... I feel like I play the Tutelage. I discard the forest, so I don't need forest. Next turn, I'm going to play the Passage and then play the Hideous Laughter. I want to see how many cards I can exile. It normally hits around 12 to 15 cards, but I have 4 of. But I have four of these cards in my deck. So I feel like it's going to hit a lot. Okay, I'll play the island now. Alright, let's see. It hit four? Okay, well, no, that's that's okay. That's okay. I hit two Emergent Ultimatums and an Ugin. I'm okay with exiling those three cards. That's fine. It either exiles 10 to 20 cards, or it exiles... Really, really big cards. Like, getting rid of... Sorry, it's like a non-land permanent. That's fine. Like, getting rid of two Emergent Ultimatums and an Ugin is insane. They're probably running, like, four of each in their deck, but still. Okay, let's just do it again. Why is that text so small? Alright, let's go look for a... Probably an island. Yep. Let's play another one. We go. We got six this time. I got another Merchant Ultimatum, two Shadows Verdict, and a Vorinclex. This is so good! Yes, I have only exiled 10 cards out of his 80, but... Like, the value of these cards... The value of my 3 mana exile card, it just exiled how much in mana value? Yeah, that's fine. Keeps grind. We've only got 49 cards left. I think the issue with this deck is I need to draw more cards. If I draw more cards, I get to cast more hideous laughters. Yeah, I'm taking one, that's fine. That's fine. Basically, I'm pretty sure his deck is just ramping up to Emergent Ultimatum. But he's lost three of them. <laughs> so he's gonna go find the last one. Okay, Teferi's Tutelage, I... I need to play because I need to filter through my deck. Man, it's, it's very annoying. It's very annoying when I hit so many lands. He's got 43 cards left. This deck does work better against very slow decks, but like against Mono Red, it's still pretty good. Because I can exile all their 1-drops. I just need to survive until that happens. Ah, uh, yeah. That's fine. He, he's still looking for the Emergent Ultimatum. 
He's probably going to play the Yorian. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's still it's fine. Alright. Alright, he's going to scry four and draw two. Okay, he scryed one and one, one and one each time. Okay, yeah, Prosperous can keep fine. He's got a counter spell. Okay. Yeah? I'm on 14, he's got 38 cards left. I've milled more than half of his deck. Actually, no, I haven't. I've only done 10 cards. But I would consider this a decent chunk of his deck in exile. Alron's Epiphany. Sure. I'll allow it. I don't think he can kill me on this turn or the next turn. Yep. Okay. Make it 8-8. Eight, eight. He doesn't have anything. Uh, I'm just going to play the Brazen Borrower as a blocker. I feel like I need to. I've got two mana. Okay. What has he got? Oh, he can sack it to Scry 2. That's what's keeping priority. Gotcha. No. I'm taking, what, 5 here? So I'll go to 11. Yeah, that's fine. And he's got, what, seven damage on board? This- I think this deck is built for a relay race. Let me explain. You know how in relay races, like, you do 25% of the work, and then you pass the buck onto someone else? This is what this- this is what this deck does. It does the majority of the work, but then it just- it just can't seem to get there in the end. Like, it's done a pretty freaking decent amount of damage to his deck. And like, he's only winning because he played Alron's Epiphany. And I assume he's going to play something else now. Okay, he found the last <coughs> He found the last Immersion Ultimatum. That's a cool art for Valky. Yeah, this- I think this deck just struggles with drawing cards. Like, at this point, I should have like, two or three extra cards in my hand, but I've just played everything. And I haven't been able to draw more cards to do anything with. Yeah, see, like, just another island? Really? Maybe I cut lands. And I don't take that I don't say that phrase lightly. But I shouldn't be drawing lands. Maybe I need more draw spells. Ah! Now, I need to draw more cards. So I'm going to take out... I'm going to put in an ops. I'll put in two ops. And I'll take out a Sublime Epiphany and a Teferi. Yeah? Let's see if that works. We'll play another game. I feel like I did very good with that deck. Like, it stops him winning, like, on the spot as well. But basically, when you take an extra turn, you win on the spot anyway, so... Alright. Let's do this, Darkness. This is a hand. Is it a good hand? That's a no. But I'm gonna play it anyway. I have two Mystic Sanctuaries, so I'm going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on my third turn. That's pretty good. Although... Alright, yeah, I play the Sentinel now. And then probably I can Brazen Borrow later. It means I don't get off a of Laughter until... Now. I've got 11 cards. So I've got 41 left. What did I hit? There's some pretty decent cards in there. Exponential growth. Oh, it's only two. That's so good. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I got another Tashi City's laugh now. Okay, let's play the island now. Let's play the Mystic Sanctuary. So the next turn I can get another hideous laughter back. Let's do it again. He's got 17 cards left. Yes! We did it! <laughs> we got 34 of his cards out of his library in like four turns. When the deck works, it works. And it works so well. <laughs> why is no one playing this card? Because it's, it's a kind of awkward card, that's why. 
I understand how awkward it is, but we're gonna try and make it work anyway. That wasn't really a good playtest either. <laughs> we could have definitely done it. I feel like if we, next turn we could have played the Mystic Sanctuary, gotten back another one, played it again, and probably exiled his entire library in like four turns. Okay, this is a pretty decent hand. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Let's take a crab. I'm gonna mill nine cards from the crab. Just with the Fable Passage and the Island. Okay, let's play the crab. 52 cards. That is a very good target to have. Okay, he's playing the Pest deck, but he's playing Mountains in it. Necrotic Fumes, why? Why are you playing Necrotic Fumes, my guy? Cool. Mill three, please. Let's go grab a forest. Yep. So we can play the innkeeper on, next, on our next turn. Let's play the overwhelmed apprentice. So we can scry two. That is a draw. What do I want? He's probably going to play like a really good card. So I think I feel like I need to keep the mystical dispute. I feel like I need to keep it. I don't know why. I don't think I need to bounce anything. That's fine, I'll take the one. Alright. Let's play the Hideous Laughter. Let's see how much we get. Don't play the Necrotic Fumes on the Crab. Come on. That's just rude, man. That's very, very rude. You know what you get for being so rude? Alright. Your deck exiled. <laughs> 13 cards. Whew. Alright, we got a, quite a few ones. These lanes look very nice, by the way. I'm happy with that. 28 cards left in his library. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, do we need to keep up mana for... Uh, unless you control three or more other islands. Okay, so if I play the island now... I'm not gonna die on my turn. So I play the innkeeper. Or do I need to keep a mystical dispute up? No, I think I need the innkeeper because I need the extra treasure. I'll take the treasure and then I can start gaining life. Eventually. So I'm taking four on my turn, which is fine. We're going to play Mystical Sanctuary on our turn to get back a hideous laughter. And hopefully, we can win. Sedgemore Witch. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. From a grave, I'm put a 1-1 counter on. No! Dude! Okay, that was a misplay by me. Not that it mattered, like... Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Let's just do it again. Not that it matters. And Mystic Sanctuary is going to come in untapped. He's got 15 cards left. Mystic Sanctuary is going to come in untapped because I control three of my other islands. I'm going to get a Hideous Laughter back next turn. Take an action. Yep. So I get to cast it again next turn. I only need to hit 14 cards. This is the deck working. This is it. I thought I, I thought it went to my hand, honestly. I should have countered that. No, I feel like I need to counter this. I'm not using the mana for anything else anyway. So he's not he's not gonna get another pest. He's not gonna learn. 14 cards left. Can we hit 14 cards off of one hideous laughter? That's fine. Exile the mystical dispute. I don't care. Next turn, he's got he's got lethal on me next turn. So this hideous laughter needs to hit 14 cards. Yep, that's fine. Please. Let's see what this can do. Come on. Hit 14 cards. Oh, he hit 11. No. I was so close. See, it gets it gets so close to winning. 
but it just can't, just can't get off the finish line. I definitely had fun in that match, thank you for asking. It's such a good feeling when you play that card and you exile like 10 of their cards. Ah, oh, it's so good. Thank you for watching, I really enjoyed myself, I hope you did as well. Uh, if you want to watch my drafting video that I did with a good friend of mine, it's in the description down below. So go watch that, enjoy it. Thanks for watching, have a great day, peace. Play Dark Ritual. Uh, Demonic Tutor. I uh, Demonic Tutor for... Where is it? Appearance of the Abyss. Cool. Play Appearance of the Abyss. Targeting myself. I'm gonna draw half my deck. Lose half my life. Let's... <laughs> just Dark Ritual again. Dark Ritual again. Man, I really enjoyed myself. That was really fun. <laughs>